What is up and welcome to a sit down and talk video from the title. I'm sure already you have a lot of questions and we're going to be diving straight into it shortly. I like to do these as you know often as I can just to keep in contact with you guys, stay up to date and uh, when there are any changes to do with me and my channels, I want to keep you all in the know on that. So stepping away from YouTube, let's dive straight in here. I don't want to waste time. I don't want to mess around. I'm going to try not to do too much cutting in this video. Um, so I probably won't be super concise and down to the points, but I feel like it's more genuine this way It's more of just a conversation between me and you although it's me doing all the talking But you guys know I love to talk I could sit and do it all day and it's convenient I have the job that I have and I'm lucky enough to have it and that doesn't change anything at all So you know, thank you all for that, but let's dive straight in because I'm sure you have a lot of questions so to begin in the last month so April leading into May I have uploaded the least videos I have ever uploaded probably in the last three years or so since like February 2014, which is actually when I uh, moved into a house full of YouTubers. So let me uh, explain why that is, keep you updated and you know talk about my position as it were. So it all actually really does spur from a situation that you may be aware of, you may not be aware of in terms of uh, YouTube content not being monetized as effectively as it once was. And fortunately for me, this isn't a huge problem or an issue as such. Obviously, it's not ideal. You know, I'd be lying if I said it was. But uh, I'm definitely in a position where, you know, I've been doing it for so long. I've uploaded over 7,500 gaming videos that I've made myself um, over the span of seven years. I've done videos every single day on this channel since September of 2010. Um, so it's, you know, that's not a huge issue to me, but it's opened up some kind of um, more opportunities for me or at least allowed me to create up some more opportunities. Now this goes alongside with a lot of traffic on YouTube kind of going in different directions to where it was, to the subscription feed not being as prevalent a thing. Definitely YouTube trying to guide their traffic through suggested to, you know, content they see as being more suitable in any way, shape or form. And uh, you'll see that, you know, not many channels gain a lot of subscribers anymore because all of the viewing comes from the homepage, from what's suggested. A lot of people, if you don't watch a lot of my videos, you probably won't see this video, so you won't know why you don't see my videos. Um, but there's this whole kind of cycle around that. And, uh, you know, a lot of channels have seen kind of traffic move away. And I've looked at this as kind of an excuse to say, you know, hey, you know, when there was, you know, huge attention, I was really, you know, trying to every minute of the day was me making videos and you probably saw that I went away four or five times last month and really kind of made the most of that and used the kind of connections I have through YouTube to go to music festivals, to go on holidays with friends, still film it for all of you and hopefully I think create some awesome videos. My uh, Coachella vlog, my uh, skiing vlog, people seem to really, really highly enjoy those and those were kind of like high effort piece of content. They took like three to four days to film each and uh, like a week or two each to edit. So that's kind of me pushing, allowing myself to do something that I wouldn't have been able to do when there was kind of mass focus. And I was thinking, you know, how can I really, you know, maximize this? Because this is what I chose to do instead of going to university. I had a place for natural sciences at UCL three and a half years ago. I took a gap year to do this, moved in with the guys. And it all went and still is going amazingly. And this is not like doom and gloom at all. This is just, I'm kind of trying to explain the slight focus shift in me the past month or so. I mean, it's quite clear if you follow me on social media, you've seen I've been going away. Um, and if you've seen on my channels, there's not quite as many videos. I'm still doing videos every single day on this channel, trying to do two a day on this channel. My other channels are more of a kind of hobby type thing now where it's like if I have time to, and I feel like I can record good videos for those channels, I'll put them out, but I'm not gonna rush a video for those channels or you know make something and think, actually, this isn't so great. Let me post it anyway. I'm kind of easing off the uh, pedal on that. In terms of just kind of giving myself a bit more space to travel, enjoy life a little more, I spent the whole weekend with my family. So again, there's not been as many videos over this weekend. And I've been trying to develop myself a little bit, trying to get back into running a little bit. So <laughs> I know you don't need my life story, who cares, right? But um, let me try and keep this concise and in a straight line. So that's kind of, I mean, that is it in a nutshell. I can go into little bits of it in more detail. And I, you know, it sounds like I'm being really negative here. Like, oh, you know, it's not the same. I can't do it. No, I love it. I still love it. But I mean, I'm sure you can tell I've been doing YouTube very high intensity um, up until this point since like 2012 is when I started. Um, even, yeah, 
2010 is uh, when I started, wait, is, yeah, 2010. So when I started posting videos daily to this channel, I've not missed a day. That is like, it's like set, that's like 2000 something days. Um, and you know, I uphold myself to that. And you know, I really do, because I appreciate your um, commitment to this channel so much. I do make sure I, you know, keep up with that and I am consistent and I'm trying to bring stuff forward. And I'm seeing this as kind of an excuse to up that level a little bit, do a bit more traveling. I love how I've got to lift my hands up to get them in the shots to do my hand gestures stuff. I will go on tangents like crazy if I don't, if I don't lock this down. Which point was I actually getting to? Oh no. Oh no. Um, so yeah, okay, the doom and gloom. This is not to say it's doom and gloom. This is not to say like, oh, I'm out guys, bye. It just, there's, there's going to be probably somewhat less videos and I'm going to try and travel away and, you know, see different cultures and countries and kind of utilize this um, thing I've created because this here right now at my desk is where I spend the majority of my time. Like, you know, on grind weeks before trips, like 16 hours a day, I kid you not, I'll stop like 20 minutes for breakfast, 20 minutes for lunch, maybe even forget to have dinner because obviously I, whenever I go away, I went away. I was away as much time last month as I was here. So in the time that I was here, I was here making videos to post while I was away. And there were, you know, a couple that I fell short. When I used to go away, like it would be like every single day, I need four to six videos every day. I'm not gonna go away on holiday feeling comfortable until I've done that. Whereas this time I'd maybe have two or three videos a day. Some days I'd only post one video on this channel, uh, which was yesterday, for example. But I'm letting myself kind of be more lenient with that. And I wanted to explain that to you, not just to say like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm slacking off, whatever. It's, it's a conscious decision. And people have always told me to make this decision, believe me. For years, everyone's been like, Vic, take a break. Vic, don't post when you go on holiday. But I really do enjoy it. Um, it's just kind of finding that balance. And YouTube kind of pushing, I'm going to say it, pushing traffic away from our channels and people migrating away from our channels and the ad revenue not being the same as it once was has been kind of a good pushing factor in my head to one step up the quality. So again, a bit of a, bit of a quality over quantity type thing, which again has been something that's been recommended to me in the past. Um, but it is really hard for me to gauge as well. And in a sense, to me, quality is variety as well. Playing a load of different games, having different channels, different people I record with. So in the same sense, quantity can also be quality, depending on how you look at it, right? There's a lot of different ways to kind of cut this up, slice it up and look at it. But going back to the point I was trying to describe here, in the sense that it's fine for me. I'm, you know, totally happy. I've, you know, made a lot of, you know, I've, I don't spend a crazy amount. I'm going to be honest. This is like real, real talk. And I'm, I'm looking straight into you, like, um, do you want me to look away? Is this a bit too much? I don't know. But, um, you, know, I've, you know, I've got investments and, you know, I've done sensible things outside of YouTube. So don't, especially don't worry for me. Don't think, oh, you know, how can we help you? I'm cool. You guys have made, like, you literally have made my life a dream. Genuinely. I get to do what I want to do every single day. And that's, I'm kind of forcing myself to shift that a little bit just to experience a bit more of life. And hopefully that's cool with you guys. And you shouldn't notice anything too drastic. But the thing that I do want to touch on that is a little scary, before I touch on it, I just want to say another side to that is I started this as a hobby. I started this when you couldn't make money doing this when I was at school, when I was at 14, messing around with friends. And even when I took it as a gap year, I was like, I'm going to try this for a year, see what happens with it, not expecting it to be. I never expected it. YouTube's a crazy place. It's a volatile place. People can watch you one day, they can say goodbye the next day and you're gone. The fact that some of you have been here since the start or some of you have been stuck around for months, years, that genuinely means so much to me and I appreciate that and I hope you're still enjoying the journey with me. And there's lots of, hopefully lots of cool stuff in the pipeline. I'm going to try and up the levels a bit. Um, when I say that, I mean that. I've never really kind of said that in my YouTube career. I'm going to try and up the levels. In a different way though, in a different form. I don't know. I don't, I haven't got this all thought out in my head and this is open discussion with you. So leave comments down below touching on any section of this, if not all of it, I'll try and read, no promises, I'll try and read as much of it as I can and just kind of touch base with all of you guys on that. But to the point I've been trying to make for the last five minutes, for me, it's fine. You know, I just wanted to be clear about it. But one thing I do see that I just wanted to touch on that sucks is I know a lot of people that are in a position where their content could be edgier than mine or, you know, their viewership is lower or they're just at the threshold, that point where they can do it for a living, which I was at kind of four or five years ago, and I really did kind of make the most of it from that point onwards. There's people who YouTube is their passion and their hobby, and those people are now in a position where they're thinking, do I have to, you know, stop doing YouTube full-time, go and get a part-time job? People who are thinking about dropping their part-time job for YouTube, and YouTube seems to be pushing in a different direction. Um, I don't know, if you want to hear any 
about any of this more in detail, let me know. But, uh, so yeah, for those people, it really does suck. For me, I just want to be very clear that, you know, not an issue. Those are my objectives. I'm sure a lot of you have more experience. You know, a lot of you guys or, and girls will be older than me and have kind of more insight on this. I don't, I don't have the answers. I don't know. But I, what I do know is that I've really enjoyed, you know, my trips away over the past, um, month filming little bits of them. Um, so I did, I filmed two of them, Coachella and Verbier. The other was Val d'Isere skiing with family, and the other was Miami Ultra, which I filmed, but it didn't turn out to be that entertaining footage. So again, that was on that methodology of a year ago, I would have, you know, put that video out. Is, is this throwing me from a year ago under the bus? I don't know, um, but I was really, but now I'm like, you know what, I'm in a really comfortable position, and I want to, you know, make sure whenever I'm putting out anything in real life, any vlog, I want it to be, I want it to pack a punch, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like I've covered all of my points there. You may catch me in a second randomly jutting in with something I thought of after the fact. But um, if you have any more questions kind of delving into specific areas of this, I've tried to, I've covered a kind of broad area. That's just where I am in life. How weird is that, right? Just to sit and be able to talk to you guys because I used to do this thing back in the day when I was posting COD commentaries every day. I'd be like, hey guys, just got back from, you know, my, this class, got so much homework for the weekend, got my GCSEs coming up, can't do too many videos, got to revise. Oh guys, I'm thinking about moving out. You, a lot of you have been with me for this whole journey, which is super cool. And it's going to continue. It's not going anywhere. It's the main thing. Like we, this journey will continue and who knows where it will go. Nice little quote that I like to drop for this. Change is one of the few constants in life. That's just, that's just it. Nothing. And, and, and that's one thing I think people struggle with. I even struggle with. It's hard for me to change my mindset, but I want to experience slightly different things. Uh, I'm still going to be doing, you know, the same sort of stuff. I'm going to be going to E3 this year, Gamescom, playing all the new games, playing all the same games, but maybe not to the same degree because perhaps in a way also it's kind of unhealthy, um, which, which has been, you know, sleepless nights, especially before trips. That's the main one. Um, so if you see me on social media and I'm away and there's not as many videos going out, just keep that in mind. Like I remember last, the year before last, I went away skiing over New Year's and I did 28 videos in advance before that trip. And that's in a week where I was doing 28 videos anyway. So that's like me doing 50 videos in a week. And it was great because I could offer variety. Hey, you want to see Minecraft videos? I got them covered the whole week. I'm not here. Watch some Minecraft, watch some COD, watch some GTA, watch some golf. I had it like all covered. Not sure to what degree I'm going to have to do that anymore, but this gives me, I guess, option to explore other forms of content, which I've been doing with the vlogs. I'm going to try and bring back some more in real life videos, some more challenge videos, some more football videos. Let me know what directions you'd like to see me going, because this is, again, this is as much your channel as it is mine. But obviously, it's very important that I have fun with it and I stay fresh with it. And that's why, you know, I've got to make changes from here to then. That's why once upon a time, I was a COD commentary channel doing COD gameplays every day. That's why once time it was GTA every single day. Now it's different games, different vlogs, different types of challenges. That's, you, you, gotta, you gotta keep it fresh. And uh, you know, I value your opinion as someone going through this with me. We're all learning here. And uh, I, can't, I know I can't please all of you. Some people are gonna be outraged by this. Some people are gonna support me in this. Some people won't. And if you don't, let me know why. And you know, maybe there's a compromise we can make somewhere. Sounds like I'm trying to broker a deal with you. I'm just trying to keep you uh, in the loop as it were. But I'm not going to ramble on for too long. I think I've got out most of the key points I wanted to uh, hit. Perhaps if you tweet me some individual specific questions you might have, or in the comments, actually, I'll spend as much time as I can when this video first goes out, replying to people in the comments of here. So if someone asks a question, you might have asked the same question as someone else. You hopefully can find it down below. This is, this is, that's one thing I want to do more as well, reply to way more comments and get, get some more conversation going. So look out for that down below. Obviously, if you're watching this a few days after it went out, if somehow miraculously YouTube threw this in your suggested, then fantastic. Um, you missed the boat a little bit, but there should be more stuff down below. But that is it. That is all I wanted to really say, and hopefully um, I was able to answer all of your questions, keep you updated. Um, lots of exciting, st exciting stuff. Exciting stuff, moving sort. I can't talk anymore. <laughs> It's over. Guys, I'm done. I'm stepping away. My time's up. Um, follow me on social media. Keep up to date with me on there. I'll still be on here. I'll still be on my other channels. If you don't know about all that stuff, hit it all up. Thank you for your time. I've rambled for a while. You've done well to keep up with it. And uh, I look forward to reading all of your comments down below and keeping up with you moving forward. Goodbye.